Hey guys, this is Ron Mower, and I am going to review a true classic game for the NES. It's called Bad Street Brawler. This game is tight. I mean, look at the graphics, first of all. I mean, you got the buildings in the background. Look at that. What NES game has better graphics than Bad Street Brawler? And let me tell you something. Uh, this game is better than Streets of Rage, Double Dragon, and Final Fights rolled into one. This game rules. And look at this. I like how you have the training montage just like you do in Rocky for the Sega Master System. And read what it says on the bottom. Never trouble trouble to trouble troubles you. Haha. <laughs> Man, that is funny. And look at this. Sweep kick. Jump. Punch. Oh man. Now tell me what move Streets of Rage has. Come on now. Double drag. I mean, come on. This game is better than all of them. And I like how that purple space in the bottom takes up so much space on the screen. I mean, that's awesome because, I mean, it, it, it makes it more challenging. It, 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 it frustrates and annoys the players to where they can't concentrate that much, I guess, you know. And, I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, that's a smart idea. And look at this. This game keeps it real. Because in real life, if you punch a bulldog in the face on the street, oh yeah, you you own the bulldog. The bulldog would die. Because in real life, I mean, Streets of Rage, you don't fight no dogs. Why not? I mean, this game is also teaching people how to defend themselves in real life when the bulldog starts coming after them. Just punch in the face like that. You know? I mean, this game is just awesome. And look, I'm fighting uh the character from Bunk's Adventure. Look at that. Oh. Man, that was an awesome fight. Man. This game is much better than Streets of Rage 2. I mean, look at this. <laughs> what? what is, you can't do that in real life. You can't punch the ground and and then punch somebody with an uppercut. Doing the Grand Upper or whatever it's called, which is a stupid name. And look at that. You can't punch that fast in real life. See, Bass Street Brawler keeps it real. Look at that. Horrible gameplay. Alright, finally. I'm glad to be playing this again. Let's go back to this. Fighting more cavemen from Bunk's Adventure. And that'd be tight if they made uh, Bunk's Adventure, you know, like Battletoads and Double Dragon. They should have made Bunk's Adventure and Bass Street Brawler. These two would have been a perfect team. Look at that. Uh, duck and punch. Uh, I like how they hurl rocks at you. They, I mean, they, they use the rocks in their slings as a helicopter to fly over you. That's tight. Yeah, get the bulldog. What? What? And this music is just awesome too. I mean, listen to this music for a second. Man, much better than the music in Street Race 2. Let's compare real quick. Listen. music is much better. I mean, oh, I died. That's a great challenging game. Um, you know, this NES game is much better than the the, uh, the music for uh, this game. It's much better than the Genesis music of St Streets of Rage. I mean, wow. This game way ahead of its time. Way ahead of its time. Look at that. Oh, uh, what? Two-piece, both of them. What? Yeah, you don't want none. What? What? Yeah, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Listen to the sound effects. Boom, boom, boom. On uh, real life, when you hear somebody hear that bump noise. 
Alright. This music starts jamming now. Oh, and... Uh, I mean... I gotta tell you... Whoever doesn't like this game... Is a freaking moron. I mean, you don't know what a good game is if you don't like this game. Look at the helicopter move. Yeah, what? That's much better than the hurricane kick in Street Fighter. Awesome. The graphics in this game, the background, I mean, awesome for an NES game. No other NES game has better graphics. Alright, I got nine seconds left. Three, two, oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh no, oh no. Arrgh. Awesome music when you die. Let me show you a quick way. I wanna do a speed run, folks. This is how you do a speed run of Bad Street Brawler. Just like in Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES, just jump over your foes. Why use strategic fighting when you can jump over the foes? In real life, if you jump over bulldogs like that, they'll leave you alone. See? They don't want none of me. Yeah, what? What? Here's the mini boss from Bunk's Adventure. Boom. Wop. Boom. Uh. Bust him in his head. Just jump around and skip. Skipping through the valley. Hey, look at this. Yeah, re yeah, you don't want none of my fists. Hey, yeah, and Street of Rage ripped off this game. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like a Street of Rage character. Come on now. Yeah. See, in real life, you might end up fighting a gorilla on the street. So, this game is trying to prepare you for that stuff in life. I mean, this game teaches about real life. Yeah, throw into the dumpster. And speaking of dumpsters, speaking of garbage, there's a piece of garbage on YouTube who goes by the name of Spunkies. He made fun of this game. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. The race is not always to the swiftest nor the battle to the strongest, but that's the way to bet. That makes sense. That's awesome. Now, anyway, Spunky's a piece of garbage who made fun of this game. Make fun of how horrible it is, you know. I mean, you don't know anything about gaming, Spunky's. You don't know anything. If you want to play a horrible game, go play Double Dragon or Contra. I mean, Spunky's likes games like Call of Duty 4 and Contra for crying out loud. He don't know a good game. You are a moron, sir. You want a horrible fighting game? Go play Streets of Rage 2 and Double Dragon 2. Moron. Alright, here we go. Fighting Donkey Kong again. Now, this is what it's all about. The Spunkies and any moron on YouTube who thinks this game is horrible, I'll slap you across the mouth. If I ever see you in public, I'm going to slap you across the mouth. How dare you make fun of a classic and bad street brawler? Yeah, uh. Fighting Donkey Kong and Street Rage character now. They don't want none of me. Yeah. What? Oh, look, he dropped the bomb. Indicating that this game is the bomb, yo. Uh oh, I died. Oh, that's it for me. I had enough of this game. It's good, but I'm going to stop right here. Um, let me put my name in real quick. But seriously, you guys have got to, to play this game. I mean, I'm, it's got to be worth $50 at GameStop. I mean, if not, then they're idiots. Um,. I'm trying to put my name in there real quick. Douche. There you go. Or douche. As in touche. Okay, number six. Yeah. And look at the ending. I'd like a hamburger instead. <laughs> oh, man. He's funny. He, he can fight and he has a sense of humor. He's a total package. What a guy. Okay, in closing, Bass Street Brawler. This game was way ahead of its time. I mean, you fight gorillas and bulldogs on the street. Um, and, uh, The punching move and the move where you, it looks like you're massaging your opponent um, it looks like you're massaging your opponents to the ground it's like a takedown move I mean in real life if you do that people people will not want to mess with you 
I mean, this guy's a cold-blooded fighter. And look at him, man. He looks real intimidating. I mean, blonde hair with with a, a matching yellow vest. Wow. This guy makes uh, Bruce Lee look like a pansy. This guy can own any fighter in real life or in video games. And look at the building reflecting off of sunglasses. That's real innovative. Unbelievable. Okay, folks, I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And if you don't want, don't ha have not played this game, you're missing out. And if you think this game is bad, then I'm sorry. You're a moron, and I will report you to YouTube for being a moron. All right, guys. Later.